I'm doing a confession session at a conference where I'm keynoting, and in the crowd somebody shares a selling blunder that's a meeting planner. His name's Joel, and he says, I can't believe I did this. It's a horrible experience. Share it with us. And he said, here's what happened. I'm a workaholic, and I have an office at home and an office at work, and I get up in the morning and I start working at home, go to the office, come home, head right into my office at home after work, and continue to work. Long, long hours, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. Well, one day after six months of not seeing me, a whole bunch of my friends started hounding me on the phone. Come on, man, you gotta go out with us, or you haven't been to a bar in years. Well, it only been six months, but really, come on, you gotta get out, blow off some steam. You know, quit taking life so seriously. So, they convinced me to go out with them, and I did something really dumb. I made up for six months of not drinking in one single night. And I came home at three o'clock in the morning, and I did the one thing they tell you not to do, you know, that kind of, uh, don't ever call a girl when you're drunk after you've broken up with her, one of those kind of things. Well, what I did was I walked into the house, made my right hand turn into my office like I do every time I walk into the house at the end of the workday, and I picked up the phone and I called my biggest prospect, a huge company that was putting together a major sales convention. And I got the president of the company's voicemail and I left him this sloppy drunk message. Oh my God, we're the best at what we do. You have to hire us, you'll be so happy and I'd be really happy and you know what, this would be the most commission I've made in years on any one client. Please, you gotta buy from us. And I pass out, wake up later with the the phone ringing in my ear and don't even make it to work the next day. And I only have one voicemail on my voicemail box when I call it to check. It's the president of the company saying, Joel, I have no idea what you do for a living, but you're not doing it here with us. Don't ever call us again. So here's the thought for you as a sales professional. What do you do to improve your daily performance? Because one of the things we never pay attention to is our energy levels. When I train salespeople, I, ask, I actually teach salespeople how to eat lunch. How to eat lunch so you have energy at 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon instead of crashing. I teach salespeople to take regular breaks during the day, especially if they do a lot of phone work. You have to have these gaps where you kind of stop and rest. There's work and research out there that shows that managing your energy is more important than managing your time. So when we do training, you'll have a ton of daily performance tips. You come to our workshop and we'll talk about 50, 60 ways for you to get better every single day. How to manage your email, how to do better prospecting, all those things that help you get a, be a better person minute by minute, hour by hour, every single day. How do you get the most out of your day as a sales professional? What are your daily performance practices? So why don't you come and hear what we have to do for you and see how much better you can get.